pangalan ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Nagmamahal namin Diyos, hawak mo ang buhay, pagkilos at pag-iral ng bawat tao. Mula sa iyo ang lahat ng pagpapala. Nagpapasalamat kami at pinupuri ka namin. Salamat sa inihandig mo sa aming mga anak. Tulungan kami ang ingatan sila at gayatin silang magsaliksik ng buong pakayahan. Bigyan mo kami ng lakas ng loob at tapang na maituring ang bawat araw bilang isang panibagong pagsisimula. Naway makilala namin sa ng aming mga anak ang isang totoong Diyos at si Heso Cristo na iyong anak. Nawa ang banal na Espiritu ay tulungan silang lumaki sa pananampalataya, pag-asa at pag-ibig pang maaari nilang malaman ang kapayapaan katotohanan at kabutihan. Nawa ang pinig mo'y marinig ng kanilang mga tainga. Nawa ang makita ng kanilang mga mata ang iyong presensya sa lahat ng iyong nilikha. Nawa ipahayag ng kanilang mga labi ang iyong salita. Nawa ang kanilang mga puso ay panahanan ng iyong kabanalan. Nawa ang kanilang mga kamay ay mapangkawang gawa. Nawa ang kanilang mga paa ay tahakin ang landas ni Yesu Kristo, iyong anak at aming Panginoon. Inamahal namin birhen ng Lazaro, ipinagkakatiwala namin ang aming sarili at mga anak sa iyong makainang paglingap at pagkakandili. Inihiling namin ngayon at magpakailanman. Amen. Ang alam ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. With pride and dignity, let us sing the Philippine National Anthem. Bayang magiliw, perlas ng silanganan, alab ng puso, sa dipdip mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, dulan ka ng magiting, sa manulupig. Di ka pa sisigil sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bugaw. May dilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay na nagliningning. Ang bituin na araw niya kailan pa may di magdidilim. Lupa ng araw ng walhap pagsinta. Buhay ay langit sa piling mo, aming ligaya na pag may mga api ang mamatay ng dahil sa iyo. Good day, Salitinians. I am Sir Tom, and I'm here to discuss to you the preparation, distribution, and retrieval phase of the self-learning modules developed by the teachers. So here, I'm going to show you uh, samples of self-learning modules. So the self-learning modules that I am handling right now comes with four different colors fresh folders so if uh, you are handling the orange uh, fresh folder means to say you belong to the uh, preschool pupils if the fresh folder is color blue means to say you are from the elementary department and the color green folder is for the junior high school and the big pink folder is for the senior high school A select of Roman teachers crafted learning modules and coordinators in the different subject area evaluated each module before it will be distributed to everyone. So the content of each modules are aligned to the K-12 most essential learning competencies. Then the teachers were contextualized and localized to certain topics required them to do so, which is of course aligned to the level of your understanding and thinking.
Okay, so I'm going to uh, show to you another sample of uh, self-learning module coming from the uh, junior high school department. Okay, so here you can see the section, your section, and at the same time the name of your advisor. Below here is your weekly schedule. So, meron tayong weekly schedule na susundan. Okay. Uh, each day, you are going to take two subjects. For example, Monday, uh, your subjects would be RBE and Math, Tuesday, Science and PLE, Wednesday, English and Mapping, Thursday, Filipino and Computer, and Friday, AP and CAT. Okay. Yung CAT subject is for grade 10 uh, students only. Okay, because I'm handling the self-learning module of a grade 10 student. So, the schedule that I have mentioned is applicable to all junior high school students from grade 7 to grade 10 only. Because in the senior high school, iba yung uh, schedule ninyo. For the elementary department, iba din. And sa preschool, iba din yung uh, schedule. So, makikita doon sa uh, front page or cover page ng self-learning module yung inyong uh, schedule. So, kindly follow strictly itong schedule na ito kasi uh, yung teacher, hihintayin niya yung message or call ninyo doon sa kanyang period if in case you have questions regarding your modules. So, what is inside this self-learning modules? Of course, yung mga modules doon sa subject. And good thing, Naka-arrange na po yung uh, mga modules dito sa folder na ito. So, RBE, Mathematics, yan. So, another attachment of your module is the school calendar. So, makikita nyo meron kayong school calendar dyan. So, nandyan na lahat po yung mga uh, holidays, nandyan yung mga examination schedules, okay, yung giving of cards, nandyan na po lahat-lahat yan. Okay, aside from school calendar, Meron din kayong uh, makikita dyan na retrieval and submission dates of self-learning modules. So, this would be your guide kung kailan ninyo kukunin or kailan ibabalik itong self-learning module. Okay. And before starting uh, these modules, meron din pong uh, prayer na naka-attach so that before we start doing our activities or lessons, we'll start with a prayer. So, I'm going to show you one subject. This is a religion 10. Okay? So, makikita nyo, meron dito student directory. So, i-fill up nyo po yan lahat kasi kailangan natin yan. Ito din yung uh, pinapa-fill up namin sa inyo uh, using your Gmail accounts. So, pakilagay din po yan dyan lahat-lahat. Okay, as you browse your uh, module, makikita nyo dyan the list of topics to be taken the full quarter. For your information, uh, each quarter, you're going to take four lessons. So, kung sa isang quarter may eight weeks, meaning to say, uh, one lesson is good for two weeks. So, two weeks po yan. So, apat na lesson. So, naka-indicate na po dito sa inyong uh, module. And below the list of lessons, makikita nyo dyan yung uh, teacher's contact details. So, nandito na rin po yung contact details ng teacher. Yung email address, yung Facebook account, nandyan na rin po yung uh, contact number na pwede nyo tawagan or i-text. Pwede nyo rin siyang i-chat if in case you have question about the self-learning module. Gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, pakifalo mabuti yung schedule na ibibigay. For example, religion is a Monday schedule. So, uh, I am teaching religion. So, my schedule is Monday. So, I'm expecting call or message for that day kasi yun yung period. If you intend to do this subject by Friday, hindi ka i-entertain ng teacher. Why? Kasi uh, may mga other subjects din siyang hihintayin. So, pakifalo mabuti yung schedule natin. Kung Monday ang math, gawin nyo siya Monday. Kasi yung teacher, naghihintay sa inyo ng tawag or text kung may mga katanungan kayo regarding doon sa module. Okay? The, since uh, this module is uh, effortly made by the subject teachers, of course, the alignment is based from the level of your understanding and uh, the capacity of thinking. Okay? So, the activities are arranged progressively. 
from easy to not so uh, difficult uh, activities naman. Okay? So, makikita nyo dyan, may mga uh, pre-test or entry test. May mga bibigay na entry test. This is to assess whether you still have knowledge regarding to your uh, the previous uh, lessons that you have uh, acquired before the pandemic. Okay? So, may pre-test dyan. Then, comes with the lesson proper. So, may lesson proper. May mga transitions dito sa self-learning modules natin. So, yung mga transitions na yan na nakabox, uh, ito yung uh, kinocommunicate kayo ng teacher. So, para ma-feel ninyo na parang nasa loob pa rin kayo ng classroom. So, communicative din itong self-learning modules natin. Na hindi nyo naman kailangang sagutan ng mahaba. Kasi it is answerable by yes or no lang naman. So, parang sa classroom lang na nag-discuss, Did you understand the lesson? So, sagot kayo, yes. O, yan. Kahit hindi naman naiintindihan na. Okay? So, after the lessons, there are a lot of activities. May mga activities na kailangan nyo yung sagutan. And, may makikita kayo dyan na student tracker. Okay. Para saan ba yung student tracker? Okay. So, this is example of student tracker. So, lalagay nyo yung pangalan nyo dyan. Uh, nandyan yung subject. So, makikita nyo dito quarter 1. And this uh, module is good for two weeks. Okay, so ano nga ba yung nakalagay dito sa student tracker? So first column, the lesson or activity. So the list of activities. Okay, so the list of activities nandito na po. Then, date. Kailan mo gagawin or ginawa yung activity na ito? So lalagay mo yung date. Anong oras? So yung time, lagay nyo dyan. Ano yung time? Tapos may makikita kayo dito, action. Ano ba yung action dyan? So, yung action ay lalagay nyo dyan, meaning to say, ano yung uh, preparation na ginawa mo para masagutan yung activity 1. Okay. For example, uh, binasa ko muna yung module ko bago ko sagutan yung activity ko. Or, nag-internet ka, uh, nanood ka sa YouTube, nagbasa ka ng other reference, mga books. I sabihin mo kung ano yung mga actions na ginawa mo dyan. Para masagutan mo yung activity 1. Ano yung mga preparations na ginawa or pinagawa ng parent mo? Kasi yung parent ay nag a sa atin para sagutan yung ating mga activities. So, yun yung lalagay natin dun sa actions. Another column, what have I learned from my lesson today? So, pag natapos mo yung activity 1, may reflection ka of course. Ano yung natutunan mo sa activity na yan? Okay, ano yung natutunan mo? So, sulat mo dyan, pwedeng English, pwedeng Tagalog. Okay, so next column, what did I find easy in my lesson? So, ano yung madali sa'yo? Gusto malaman ni teacher, saang part sa lesson yung madali sa'yo? So, ibig sabihin, kung uh, nag-enjoy ka ba sa part na yun, sa lesson na yun, isusulat natin dyan. So, that is the, uh, the easy lesson for you. What did I find difficult this day? Kung may easy, meron ding difficult. Ano yung mga problems encountered? Saang part? ka na hirapan doon sa lesson. So, pakilagay po dyan lahat para pag nakita ni teacher, alam niya yung gagawin, alam niya yung follow up or magbibigay uh, yung teacher ng intervention para yung part na nahirapan ka is ma-explain mabuti para at least uh, hindi ka na malilito next time. So, what do I need to do next day? Okay, ano yung gagawin mo the following day? Okay, so, yung experience mo sa activity 1, Okay? Kung ano yung experience mo sa activity 1, yun yung ano, uh, parang springboard mo para mag-prepare doon sa lesson 2. Kung nahirapan ka sa lesson 1, ano yung mga steps na, or actions din na gagawin mo? So, kailangan ko siguro mas maraming reference kasi baka yung activity 2 mas mahirap na. Mga ganon. So, yun yung ilalagay natin doon sa student tracker. So, kailangan yung i-accomplish lahat ito at i-attach din once you submit your uh, self-learning module on the specified date of returning the self-learning module. Okay, so for the distribution phase of the self-learning modules, your parents and guardians will come to school to get the printed modules following, of course, the social distancing protocol and the proper hand washing sanitation. So, yung schedule ng pagkuha ng self-learning module ay na-discuss na during the meeting. And of course, the venue of uh, the distribution of uh, the self-learning modules, naka-indicate na rin yun. 
if you uh, if your parents did not attend the meeting makikita nyo po yung uh, schedule doon sa Facebook page ng school natin La Salita of Ramon visit nyo lang doon uploaded na po yan so the distribution of the self learning uh, modules will start on August 17 18 and 19 so nakagroup na po yan so makikita nyo dyan okay so upon uh, receiving the ano the self learning modules please tell your parents na mag-provide ng isang long, clear envelope. Isang long, ah, long po. Long, clear envelope and a photocopy of any valid ID. Okay, papotocopy yung valid ID. So, yun yung i-register natin dito sa school na sila yung official na tagakuha ng inyong uh, self-learning modules. Yun yung i-register natin para hindi uh, mawala yung uh, self-learning modules ninyo kung sino-sino yung kukuha. So, kung sino yung kumuha ng self-learning modules ninyo for the first quarter, siya din po yung magbabalik, siya din po yung kukuha for the second quarter, and so on and so forth. So, as I've said, your parents had already attended orientation regarding the implementation of the modular distance learning, and they will facilitate in answering your modules, most especially in the lower grade levels. Kasi sa uh, lower grade, grade levels, mas kailangan nila ng mga assistance ng parents. But I'm not saying na yung parents ninyo ang sasagot lahat ng inyong modules. Okay, hindi po. They're just going to uh, facilitate kung may mga medyo hindi kayo maintindihan. So, pwede silang itap. Not only your parents, pwede din si ate, si kuya, kung nahirapan kayo. If in case, uh, hindi makontak yung teacher. But uh, the teacher is waiting naman dun sa mga messages and calls niya regarding dun sa self-learning module. So, as I have said, the schedule is already posted dun sa Facebook page ng La Salette of Ramon and I think your advisors already sent to you the schedules in your group chats. Okay, for the retrieval phase of the self-learning modules, your parents or guardians are encouraged to come back to return the modules on the date specified in the retrieval. So, your teachers, upon collecting the modules, will automatically check and give feedback to pupils or students in any means possible and look for ways on how to extend more help for students who are struggling or encounter difficulty in answering the module. So, kaya nga kailangan ninyong isulat yung mga uh, difficulties encountered ninyo doon sa tracker para makita ni teacher kung saan part kayo uh, nahirapan para makapagbigay ng intervention si teacher para matulungan kayo doon sa part na kayo ay nahirapan. So, it's very uh, important for you to accomplish the student tracker. So, if you still have questions regarding self-learning modules, uh, don't hesitate to message us and ask us about the modules. So, as the country continues in battling the COVID-19 pandemic, education must continue to the Filipino youth. So, let me wish you a very promising year, learn wisely, and above all, remember to seek the Lord. So, my dear Salitinians, together we can fight the pandemic.